throwing the ball. Yeah, just his first touch for the game, and obviously a little bit nervous there, but I'm sure there's plenty more to come. Down to his kick goes up four, and once again, Darrell Paul with a strong mark. So he won't be intimidated, will he, that guy? Too strong for Longmire there, just pushed him out there and uh, kicks it up forward, and Stephen Carter's dropped down from the half-back line, finds himself on the forward line, and Bruce uh, Carter played many games for Port Adelaide last year in the forward line, so he's uh, not a... Uh, no, it's, it's a part of the ground he's very accustomed to. Well, it was last week, Matty, he came down from the halfback line and kicked a goal. He's down there again. A halfback player with one goal a game is a, a very big bonus. And he has kicked it. The crowd are cheering for that. And also, Darrell Paul has come off the ground. But Adelaide's fourth goal there. Four goals, 13, still trailing North Melbourne, 13 3. As Stephen Carter makes the long run all the way back to the halfback line. Now, the guy who's taken his place, I mean, Poole has done reasonably well as the chap that's taken his place, uh, an inexperienced person. I didn't quite pick up the number. Well, Treadray came on and went to the back line. I've seen right. Downs were ahead to centre-half forward. 13-3, so, uh, right. North, Port 4-13. 44 points the margin. Back in the centre. Again, Capuano and Lade. Lade's been winning the knocks, but as Robbo mentioned earlier, they can't seem to get clear possession out of the centre. Knocked forward by Stevens is clever, but Carter, who just kicked the goal, decides to kick it off the ground to relieve the pressure. Out there is Bond. He leads in the race for the ball from McFarlane. Did that very well, very casually, but always very cool. Around the body, but Anderson is there in the right spot for North, and 